2011, only 14% of the FTSE 100 CEOs had a marketing background. In, in 2014, this has risen to 21%, according to a survey by Spencer Stewart. In 2011, 53% of CEOs came from a finance background, and now we've got 32%. So marketing is beginning to take over from the finance guys. If you look at how all the big four supermarkets have been sort of somewhat surprised, probably less so Sainsbury's actually, but somewhat surprised about the change that's been brought by, uh, by discounters, I think it's lack of marketing strength in the boardroom because actually it's pretty obvious what was going on. But when your business model was, we keep, there's a, we've got land, we need to build therefore hypermarkets on it because if we don't, we'll lose share. Somebody needs to be saying, stop. There's a change that's going on that, you know, it is, it's clear now, and it's probably clear five years ago, this is a road to ruin. And I don't think there's been enough strong marketeers in that situation. I, I, I still think there's this broader agenda of what is marketing and actually, again, your point about extending the boundaries, I think the more we can do to show the power of what overall great marketing is beyond pure campaigns, the better. Because actually the power of a really great marketing at work, as we all know, is much broader and more impactful. So the more we can keep proving that within our organisations outside, and as said earlier on, the marketing side, you're doing a brilliant job of that. Um, yeah, and prove your results, more ROI. The more we can show the case study and the value and you know, marketing being an investment, not a cost line. And that's the shift we're trying to push within our organisation. So we talk about marketing investment rather than marketing expense. It's an important language shift, I think. But to do that, we've got to be able to back our numbers up, show what we're doing, and show the broader role of marketing. I think the best marketing people, clients I've worked with, are the ones who seem almost boundaryless. So they don't seem to be boundaried in the marketing department. Their advice is sought across the business and they just roll their sleeves up and they jump in and they say there's a problem that needs solving, I'm a problem solver, they see themselves as problem solvers and they get seen by, you know, it might not be on the board but the exco, they get called in to talk about people issues, operational issues, you know, which go way beyond their remit and so I think people who are can do and are not running for cover when the shit hits the fan. I mean, I think that one of the mistakes I've made in the past is to not ask enough questions about what is it you want me to do and what is it you want of marketing and what is it you want of this role. And the older I've got, the more ruthlessly focused I've been on asking those questions to make sure you can set yourself up uh, for success. Oyster Catchers evenings are always a great way of getting perspective on different aspects of our business, hearing varied views, so tonight we had people from different sectors and agency points of view as well, so you get a variety of viewpoints all sharing light on a shared subject. In terms of what I would bring back to the business, I think really it was frankly some of the sound bites that were generated tonight around the power of marketing within the context of an organisation. I love this idea of repositioning marketing not as spending of money but in terms of making of money i think it's a constant battle for us all in this kind of category to to persuade um, kind of very senior people in the business of the power and the return on investment of marketing so i would take that back i think the highlight for me is um the overall effect of the of, of this event in terms of what, what, what has been said it sort of corroborates a lot of the things that, that contagious has been thinking um in the sense that you know you come out with the impression that marketing is in a really unique space at the moment it's a really kind of attractive intellectually demanding and challenging role to be playing within business at large that sense that brands have a purpose um, that it's a really attractive place for young people to sort of want to feel that they're being challenged and stretched and that, that marketers have a unique role within the business environment 